Welcome to day two of Vlogmas. We are on the way to my mother's house, or my father's house, to help get leaves up. We um, are running a little bit behind. I already had a little bit of family drama this morning. But um, we'll just have to deal with it. We're gonna, I'm going to stop and get some breakfast beforehand just because we're going to be over there for a while. And I don't know how long it's going to take for us to break the leaves. But I got my girls with me. I might turn red right now. I mean, turn red. Turn green. <laughs> okay, so what time is the temperature? It's 52 degrees outside. Everyone's thrilled and happy to be working, getting ready to work feverishly hard this morning to uh, break leaves. Fortunately, we're not going to have as many helpers as we thought, but. That's life. Okay, we just got back from um, town where we went and break my mother's leaves. We actually got there about 11.30 and did not get done till 5 o'clock. So um, we felt really dirty and tired. I just got out of the shower and now I'm going to have myself some hot chocolate and relax. My favorite hot cocoa is the holiday collection that they put out at Walmart um, for Christmas every year. I usually try and buy one or two packs to last me through the cold winter months, um, January, February. The um, Each little box just has the cutest pictures on them. Um, there are five different flavors, dark chocolate. I think that's mint, oh, sorry, French vanilla. Caramel cream. Mint chocolate. And I think dark chocolate. And all of them are very good. Um, you have a good variety. It's not just your standard milk chocolate. The pictures on the boxes are super cute. I think that actually when I get done with those, I'm going to um, recycle those pictures. The tin can that I keep those in actually come from the Dollar Tree. I saw that this year, and I just love the little cups of hot chocolate that's on the front of them. I just think they're super adorable. So I do... Um, keep my seasonal hot chocolate in that and then I uh, store mine in the cab cabinet. I don't have a hot chocolate bar or anything like that. I just keep all of my stuff on a shelf in the cabinet and whenever I want hot chocolate I take everything out and put everything together and then put it back up on the shelf. Until next time. I do indulge a little bit more than I probably should. And, um, also I have gotten my girls as well as myself spoiled. We have gotten to where we can't drink hot chocolate anymore with just standard water. We have to use milk. Um, so I do heat that up. Um, you can heat that up on the stove or in the microwave. Most of the time I just do it in the microwave because it's just faster. And then I'm getting me a, um, one of my favorite Christmas cups that I use uh, a friend of mine had given that to me several Christmases ago. I just think it's super cute, and it just, for some reason, I always want to drink my hot chocolate in that particular mug. I guess it's just so Christmassy. I do pour about eight ounces of milk into a measuring cup before I heat it. Um, milk's expensive. I don't like to waste it, so I do measure that out. Heat it up for about two minutes. It usually gets it um, hot, but not so scalding that it, you can't drink it. Of course, I have to have my marshmallows. And I usually pull out everything I have in the cabinet because I'm not really sure exactly what I want um, until, I'm actually, until I'm making my hot chocolate. So um, whatever I don't use, I just put back. 
but I always have marshmallows. And the hot chocolate that I'm using today, or tonight, is the caramel cream. Now that my milk is done, I'm going to go get it out of the microwave and pour that into my cup. Oh, well, I guess first I'm going to show you that I have a um, peppermint bar. <laughs> Forgot about that. Um, I did get that at the Dollar Tree, and it's pretty good, peppermint bark. I did not choose to use it in my hot chocolate this time. Um, I preferred the sprinkles. I love this set of sprinkles. I got it at TJ Maxx last year, and they are just so cute. There's gingerbread men, holly, um, snowflakes, I think Christmas trees. Um, can't remember if there's anything else. I also like to put whipped cream on mine. I don't really know that the whipped cream gives it any kind of special flavor that the marshmallows don't, but it just makes it look a whole lot prettier. Now let's give that a quick stir and just continue to stir it for about a minute or two just to make sure everything's good and blended in so that you don't have chunks of chocolate powder in the bottom of your cup. You can actually see the steam coming off the cup. And if your hot chocolate does get a little bit too hot, the whipped cream will always cool it down just a tad. This is definitely an indulgence. Nothing low fat about this. And I've just put a variety of different little sprinkles. They don't, they're not flavored, so um, no matter what I use, it's not going to change any, any taste. But it just looks so festive and sets the mood, especially sitting by your Christmas tree and drinking it. I hope you've enjoyed my Vlogmas Day 2, and uh, have a good evening, and I will see you again tomorrow.